Label. Home. Voice over off. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah. Voice speaker, explore, landscape, voice over off. Salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Mushadu an la ilaha illallah. Voice over on iTunes U Landscape Speaker Allah Musalli Ala Muhammadan Wala Speaker Muhammadan Kama Salih Speaker Ibrahim Recorder Plus Him Allah Mabar Speaker Muhammadan Facebook Chrome Muhammadan Kama Barakta Ala Ibrahim وعلى آله إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وبع. Voice over off. تنال إن شاء الله صبابك وتعالى. In this brief time, Alhamdulillah, by the permission of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Voice over on iTunes U Landscape. Home. Voice over off. <clears throat> I want to remind ourselves as we talk about Wabarakallahu fikum. That which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with from the knowledge of this deen. That which Allah wa ta'ala has blessed us with from the knowledge of his noble book. And the sunnah of his messenger sallallahu wa sallamuhu alayhi. And from amongst those things, Alhamdulillah, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has reminded the believers of the mercy that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has bestowed upon us because of this knowledge. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned it on the tongue of his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the hadith of Mu'awiyah which is in the Bukhari wa Muslim where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam he mentioned May you read the Lahi Bihi Khaira. May you read the Lahi Bihi Khaira. May you read the Lahi Bihi Khaira. You fakahu fiddin. Where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he mentioned. Whosoever Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala he desires for that individual. He has decreed for that person 
he wants for that individual that of good yafqahu fi din Allah will give him fiqh min al din fiqh fi al din understanding fiqh of the religion and tabarak wa ta'ala his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described him as a sadiq wal masduq the one who is truthful and thus he only speaks the truth he mentioned may you be dillahi bihi khayra if you fit the who serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he wants good for him he will give him fiqh of the deen fiqhahu fi al-deen this deen and this fiqh and this statement of the prophet yutabru ilman it is considered knowledge of the religion yutabru amalu salihat it is considered righteous deeds yutabru at-tahid tawhid Allah tabarak wa ta'ala the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his lordship his ownership and the worship to him in his names and attributes jalla wa ula the mighty the sublime this fiqh understanding of the deen you tabaru al ibadatullah azza wa jal al ibadatullah wahda that you devote, you respect, you humble, and you submit yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the way that no one else deserves to be done like that. The fiqh of this deen, yutabru al-adab, wal-husnu khuluq. It includes good manners and good moral conduct. This fiqh of the deen of Allah tabaraku wa ta'ala, it also includes wa barakallahu feekum as-sabru, as-sabru, fi kulli hain, to be patient and to restrain oneself from acting in the ways that Allah and his messenger has prohibited at all times. And in all circumstances and situations. The fiqh of this deen of Allah tabarakahu wa ta'ala yushmal tilabatul Qur'an wa tatbiq lahu. It includes the reading of the Qur'an and its application. Wa fahm al wa and it includes proper understand proper understanding of the book proper understanding the way Allah intended for the people to understand in his messenger without tainted and distorted meanings and perspectives of the religion the fiqh of the deen the knowledge of this religion yutabru al-haq al-ahkam al ahkam wa niza an al ikhtilaf and also <coughs> it includes the rulings in the religion and the staying away from arguing and debating this fiqh, this knowledge of the deen yutabru ta'amalu bain al zawjain it includes working between spouses in a good way wa kadhalik tabaru akhu fi Allah tabaraku wa ta'ala it includes fraternity of brother as well as sisterhood in the religion the fiqh of the deen the knowledge of this deen tabaru biri walidain wa kabirina it includes respecting and honoring the parents as well as the elders or those who have more <coughs> knowledge and <coughs> age over you. 
the fiqh of the deen, the knowledge of the religion, your tabaru, a rahmah, wal ihtiram, the sagirina. It also includes having respect and mercy for the underage or those who are minors. The fiqh of the deen, your tabaru, hakuk al jiran, walau kana min ghairi muslimin. It also includes the respecting and to being neighborly and giving the rights to the neighbors even if they be from amongst the non-Muslims. The fiqh of this deen, yutabaru, yani al ittiba, badin an al ibtida. It includes applying and following the messenger in statement and action rather than inventing and leaving off the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Fiqh al-Deen, the knowledge of this deen, yutabaru al-hub wa tiba' li ashabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It includes the love and the following of the companions of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam وصيانه السنتنا عن لحومهم and it includes freeing our tongues from slandering, debasing and <coughs> defaming those great companions رضي الله تعالى عنهم فقه الدين the knowledge of this religion the <coughs> statement of the Prophet is inclusive and it is not like we understand today when people say fiqh, they mean kafa tatawabba al salah. How do you wash and make ablution for salah? I will kafa taqtasil ba al janaba. Or how do you purify yourself with a bathing for praying after <coughs> sexual relations or wet dream? Or kafa babakalo fikum ya eddi al zakah. Or how do you distribute the zakah? أو كيف يصوم في شهر رمضان وخارج عن شهر رمضان How do you fast in Ramadan which is an obligation and outside of Ramadan voluntarily This is what the people understand normally when they hear fiqh in these days وكان الفقهاء ينقسم فقه إلى قسمين and the scholars of Judas Prudence, they used to divide fiqh into two categories. Fiqh al-akibar, yani the major fiqh, was fiqh al-asgar, and the minor fiqh. Amma al-fiqh al-akibar, as far as the major fiqh, wa huwa al-tawheed, al-tawheed illahi jalla wa ula. And as for the major, major fiqh, as for the term fiqh al-akibar, the major fiqh, then it is understood by the scholars of fiqh and jurisprudence as the knowledge of Allah, the mighty, the sublime, the worship of Him and the singling Him out in those acts of worship, lordship, names, and attributes. Amma fiqh al asghar as for the minor fiqh, the minor fiqh, then they understand that to be في ماذا في العبادات وفي ماذا المعاملات وغير ذلك. And they say the minor fiqh is in the application of those things to consider worship and other than that. Therefore, the Prophet ﷺ, لما قال يفقه 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 في الدين ذكر الدين be alaf lam. Dhakr al-deen be alaf lam. Wa huwa kama bayyan al-ulama min al-usuliyin anna al-alaf lam yufidu al-umum wa yufidu istiqraq ayyi yani kulliya. Here the alaf and the lam it includes everything. It's all inclusive. And that which is in totality, meaning all aspects of whatever it is attached to in here, 
it is attached to it is attached to the word deen ad deen yushmal at tawhid wa tatbiq fi ma ghayri min at tawhid and that is the tawhid and that which is other than it from the religion of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and its applications Thus, the Prophet ﷺ, he has explained in many yani, ways the virtue of the knowledge. The virtue of the knowledge of this deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is one of the hadith that he mentioned that whosoever Allah intends or wants for that individual good, he will give him an understanding of the deen. Now, Also, from amongst the issue of the deen that we want to mention tonight, yani, is the having mercy, showing mercy, and uh, lowering the wings to one another. This is part of the knowledge of the deen. As of the Tabarakul Wa Ta'ala, he has mentioned his noble book. وَفْضِ جِنَاحَكَ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ نعم and lower your wings to the believers وَخَوَ اللَّهُ جَلَّ وَأُولَى وَحْضِ جِنَاحَكَ لِمَنَ اتَّبَعَ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ and lower your wings to those who apply and follow the religion for those who are the true believers وَخَالَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكِرِيمِ إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةٌ فَأَصْلُهُ بَيْنَ أَخْوَيْكُمْ Verily, indeed, the believers, they are brothers and sisters, inclusively in the meaning, فَأَصْلُهُ بَيْنَ أَخْوَيْكُمْ Therefore, fix that which is between you and your brothers, inclusively you and your sisters, فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ So, therefore, this is an act of piety, being afraid that Allah will punish you and obeying Him in that, so that you will obtain, you will receive from Allah the mercy. وَخَوَ اللَّهُ جَلَّ وَأُولَى فِي كِتَابِ الْكِرِيمِ وَأَصْلَهُ ذَاتَ بَيْنِكُمْ وَأَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ and fix that which you have between you of the relations quarreling and debating. <clears throat> and obey Allah and His Messenger if you are indeed true believers. وَقَالَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي كِتَابِ الْكِرِيمِ هُنَّ لِبَاسَ لَكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ لِبَاسَ لَهُنَّ They are a covering for you and you are a covering for them. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala yukul fi kitabihi al-kareem wa lahunna misl ladhi alayhinna bin ma'roof and they have similar rights <coughs> for themselves the women and that which is goodness and fairness. Al Tabarak wa Ta'ala he also mentioned Fataabunu al al birra wa taqwa wa taabunu al al birra wa taqwa wa la fat madha wa taabunu al al birra wa taqwa wa la taabunu al al ithmi wa la and I command you to work together upon the good things and to obey Allah and to avoid that which is disobedience, transgression, and some scholars have also mentioned that which is innovation. All of this is from amongst the reminders of 
lowering the wing to the believer. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in his noble book, and Allah has raised from amongst you in degrees those who have knowledge and those who have iman. He has raised amongst you in degrees those who have knowledge. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has mentioned on the tongue of His Messenger concerning marriage these issues as well as He has said, as Al Tabaraku wa ta'ala said, and live with the women, live with them in kindness. And be with the women in a good way. The best of you or the best from amongst you to his household, to his family, to his wife, to his children, and I'm the best from amongst you to his family, his wives. And the Prophet wasallam, he has mentioned, we know the superiority of the right of the man over the woman. كما ذكر الله جل وعلا في كتاب الكريم إنما قال رجال قومون على النساء الرجال قومون على النساء بما فضل الله بعضهم على بعض وبما أنفقوا من أموالهم هذا تبارك وتعالى سلق الرجال قوام قوام الذي قام يقوم عليه those who Allah has given the ability and have made them where they can establish and be an authority over others. The man is a qawam ala nisa. As it relates to comparison, the man has been given superiority and he has been given that which is the power to rule over the women. And the first reason is because Allah has given and prefer that one over another. كَمَا قَالَ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فِي كِتَابِ الْكِرِيمِ فِي شَأْنِ أَنْبِيَاء وَالْمُرْسَلِينَ قَالَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ اسْتَفَى آدَمُ وَنُوحًا وَعَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ وَعَالَ عَمْرَانَ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ And verily Allah has preferred and picked and raised and blessed Adam and Nuh, Noah and the family of Abraham, Ibrahim, and the family of Amran, from the lineage of those who are <clears throat> from the people of the family of Maryam and Zechariah, and likewise. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Dhuriyatan ba'baham ba'. And Allah has made from them, out of this, offsprings on top of offsprings is part of the Blessing that Allah has favored one over another. وَقَدْ ذَكَرَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَىٰ آلِهِ وَسَلَّمُ خَيْرُ النِّسَاءِ الدُّنْيَا The best women, the most virtuous women in this world. <clears throat> Khadija bint al-Khuwaylid. Khadija, the wife of the Prophet. Maryam ibn Amran. And Mary, the Virgin Mary, the mother of Asa, Jesus Christ. And Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad. And Asiya, the lady who was the wife of the Pharaoh, Fir'aun. This is another example of how Allah prefers some over others. وَقَالَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَ وَتَعَالَى فِي شَأْنِ الرُّسُلِ تِلْكَ رُسُلُنَا فَضَّلْ بَعْضَهُمْ عَلَى بَعْضِ مِنْهُمْ مَنْ كَلَّمَ اللَّهُ وَفَعَ بَعْضَهُمْ دَرَجَاتِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that these are the messengers that 
we prefer, meaning Allah, He has preferred some over them, raised them, and gave them levels and authority <coughs> over some of the others from the messengers. And Allah has shows in doing that to speak to some as opposed to not speaking to others. And Allah has raised how He has chosen to raise in degrees some from amongst them over others in different ways. That's what Tabarak wa Ta'ala when he said, Or Jaluku wa Muna ala Nisa, Bina Fadullah Ba'dahum ala Ba. He emphasized that this is because Allah has chose out of his deep wisdom as he is Al Alim. Al Alim means the one who has a lot of knowledge. He is the one who has total knowledge. He has the deep insight of things. And that deep insight also is found in the word Al-Hakim that allows him and makes him able to make just rulings and decisions. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala huwa Al-Alim Al-Hakim. Naam. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the likes of men. Allah has made them a authority and a leader and a person that has the skills and the ability by the way that Allah has made him naturally and he, in his creation over the woman. Over the woman does not mean like a slave over a woman. It means yani, as it <coughs> is compared to that which the lady has. The lady is a kawam. She has yani, authority. And she she has the ability to you know, be over. As the Prophet he mentioned you know, Barak Allahu Fikum the best women of this you know, life and this worldly life, he mentioned Khadija. And we know the status of Khadija. She was a wealthy lady and the Prophet himself used to work for her before he married her and before he became prophet and messenger. So it shows that she had qawam. And Allah gave her that qawam which is authority and ability and leadership even at that time over the prophet as he was under her auspices working for her. And Allah is the one who gave her that over others. And in the <clears throat> this does not take away from that which Allah has made naturally and gave a man. But that's a particular case. And likewise, Prophet mentioned other women that were great and they had something over others. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives that to whom he wills. But here this is general for the man and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made him like that over a woman. And then Tabarakul wa ta'ala's messenger Prophet also mentioned Mara Eto Mara Eto Mara Eto Naam, I have not seen any anything that has <coughs> more deficiencies than these two type of deficiencies. And then he mentioned Yani the Dean and Yani the Akhat. And the scholars they mentioned here the Dean means she has a um, deficiency here is not as a slight or a slander, but rather it means that she is void of something in the religion. Meaning there's a time when she's void of the obligation of praying, for example. There's a time when she's of, uh, yani void of fasting. She has a deduction or reduction in that because of the issue of bleeding. So Tabarakul wa Ta'ala's Prophet is mentioning has not seen anyone that has more of a reduction in the issue of deen yani, and that's a woman because no one else has been given that reduction. Naam, no one else has been given that type of reduction. Wa and also in the way that yani, they process information, the emotional state, how they think and react. And this we understand clearly when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about 
the women Surah Yusuf in the Kaid of Hun Azim. Then that which they seek to do in their plot is magnificent. And this is only because yani, <coughs> of the way that they think and the way that they have been made that they have this ability. And in reality, it is naqs fil aql. It is a de yani, deduction in the way that they think and so forth because of emotion and that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made in them as a way. Thus the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said the Stosu bin Isa therefore be good to the women. Naam Fa in na hun fa in na hunna Mada Fa in na khalaqa na hunna min dila o kema pa because indeed we have created them from a rib wa la dila yani a wudj and the upper part of that rib is crooked. It's crooked, yani naam Yani, well, and some of the ulama they explain and mention this upper part of the rib who are the sign. It is the tongue. I mean, in, in, in some of the explanations, so this crooked. فَقَالَنَا يُسَلَّمُ sallam فَإِن 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 فَإِسْتَمْتَعْتَ بِهَا فَاسْتَمْتَعْ بِهَا بِعِوَاجٍ and if you seek to enjoy her, then you will seek to enjoy her while she is crooked. Wa'en. 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 Wa'en is to come to her. Wa'en is to come to her. Qasar to her. And if you try to fix her, then you will break her. Fastol subin sa'i khayra. Therefore, live with them, be with them in the best of manner. And this. And lastly, we find in the clarification explanation to the likes of why Allah Tabaraku wa Ta'ala likewise is mentioned <coughs> to live with them in a good way, and this is part of lowering the wings to the believers. And lastly, also on the issue where the Prophet mentioned Okay, and when a man he calls his wife to the bed and we understand if she does not come many narrations the angels would supplicate against her or you know, they, uh, be from amongst those who rebuke her and Allah will be angry with her until the morning pa comes and you know, the night passes as he's left in this state during the night Rabbi Shaykhuna Ali Imam Muhammad ibn Salah Faymini was asked a question about a lady who has yani, mashakka. She has difficulty or pain or sickness. Yani, is it permissible for the man to enforce or to use the likes of these injunctions that are true that the lady should answer? She should not reject him because the man has great desires, as Al Tabarak wa Ta'ala said. <clears throat> that from the things out of all of the things of this worldly enjoyment the one that is most severe for the man is love for the woman I have not left anything I have not Left anything more ch trying is a test and harmful for the men of my nation as a trial than the women because of the great love that a man has for the woman and the power that she has in capturing and controlling the heart of that man. What here the Prophet Sallam yani in that is mentioned that obligation. Therefore, Shaykh Uthaymin he mentioned yani if there is some harm or sickness or difficulty then for the man to exercise that forcible right or to yani, enforce that said huwa yani munkaran munkaran muharramun it is something that is detested it is yani uh, <clears throat> evil and is prohibited why and then because all of the verses we mentioned about lauren the believers wings to the other believers, then this is 
applicable in their case. فَالصَّبْرُ جَمِيلٌ وَاللَّهُ مُسْتَعَانَ عَلَى مَا تَصِفُونَ and in Sabu Jamil, as the scholars mentioned, it's not a patience that you can see. Rather, it's something inwardly that no one can see because that person exercises that patience to the point that nothing shows of annoyance or disturbance on that person, even though they could be disturbed or annoyed. And this, the Prophet ﷺ, he mentioned, يعني ماذا المؤمنون كالبيان شدهم Therefore, the believers, their description is that they are like a solid structure. One strengthens the other. Now, one strengthens the other. Now, so this is a reminder for lowering the wings. As the Prophet Sallam mentioned, Mallam Yurham La Yurham in the authentic hadith. Whosoever does not show mercy, then the mercy will not be shown to him from the most merciful. Hadhabu sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala rasulihi al-kareemi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi sallama taslim al-kithira. Insha'Allah ta'ala. We conclude for the lesson for this evening and lastly want to mention just a few questions and answers that were asked previously concerning uh, some of the issues around marriage and women. And the first one, is it permissible for a lady, it is permissible in your Jews and for a lady to um, 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 is it permissible for a lady or woman to attend Islamic uh, yani function, Muqtabara, Islamiyya, Islamic gatherings? This question was asked in some of the books and classes of Imam al Wadi, Imam Muqbil, and he answered concerning this. He said, yani, um, if there is some benefit. For the woman that she learns, and that the ladies are separate from the men. If there is firstly benefit, if the kana fihi mada yani al 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 munafiq, there is some some benefit in the gathering because gatherings here, yani also could mean. Some type of celebration. So the Sheikh said if there is some benefit in the gathering. Showing that it should not be something just vain. It should be some tangible um, thing that you gain from it. And not just simply to be out. And then the second, the Sheikh he said. And if the women are separate from the men. And then he mentioned as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would do on the Eid, he would yani yeah, speak to the men and then after that he would go to the women, showing that the men and the women were not together. They were so far away that even they could not hear the Messenger Sallallahu to the point he would have to go to them and to give them some time and to give them a word of advice and like this. Also the Madan is it permissible the second question for the lady when she's in a uh, gathering of knowledge, is it permissible for her to answer or to ask the question? Is it permissible, I should say, that the question was asked to the Sheikh and others, and this is the question that was asked to me, is it permissible for a lady to answer, uh, or she keeps saying answer, is it permissible for a lady to ask Naam, is it permissible lady to ask Yani the question with her voice rather than Yani writing? Permissible to ask with her voice hijab from behind some type of barrier, meaning that she's not of course um visible and grouped up with the men. The Shaykh asked Rahimahullah Ta'ala 
Um, he, he answered by saying, Yani, uh, Islam, Islam, Yani, Mam, Islam, Tat Ruka, Sot Hafala Batsan. If her voice is not, Yani, alluring, then it's okay. If her voice is not the type of voice that will, Yani, um, allure or to um, excite men then it's okay he said because Allah Jalla Yani Jalala he mentioned in his noble book Fala Taqda'na Bikawli Fiyata Ma'alladheena Fi Fiyata Ma'alladheena Fi Fiyata Ma'alladheena Fiyata Ma'alladheena and do not speak in the way that the speech or the saying is alluring because thus you might uh, you may ignite or to stir up the sicknesses or the diseases the ill things in the heart of that person that is sick so therefore, if the woman is known, she has a a very feminine or soft or a very attractive voice, so that her voice is a trial of fitna. Any man who hears it will um, be moved by it or um, may be um, um, tried by the beauty and the softness and the, and the description of the lady's voice and her sound then that lady should not ask her question out loud. Nah, that lady should not ask her question out loud. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala rasulihi al-kareem wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa taslim al-kathira subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta أستغفرك وأتوب إليك ونسأل الله تبارك وتعالى التوبة النصور ومغفر وأفوى منه لنا جميعا Anything I said of good is from Allah جل وعلا The mind is sublime Anything of mistake or bad is from myself or the shaitan والله بريء من And Allah is free from that وبالله توفيق وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على رسوله الكريم والحمد لله رب العالمين